Good morning, everybody. It is September 10th, I think, Friday, and sort of getting a late start, I guess. I overslept a little bit, and so I'm not going to make a play on that those fields down there. I think I'm just going to head up to the North Colony um, Creek. Yeah, try and get up there, spend most of the day to try to get up there, and hopefully see something along the way. That would be great. Anyway, check this out. It's beautiful. Oh well, I gotta get back on the trail, so. Interesting. It looks man-made. It goes up into this ravine right here. It looks like the one behind me goes down along this hillside. It may might end up at the bottom of the ravine. Kind of good to know this is here. About 98, 96, 9800 feet. You need to stay around this area between 10 and 9. I can get up to 10 pretty quick right here, but there's a lot of laydowns, a lot of deadfall. And there's some ravines that I would have to go through, which would be treacherous. And I don't want to do that with this pack. I want to get this pack off. The spike camp set up. So, anyway, I'll put a waypoint down and keep moving forward. Listen to that beautiful sound. Oh, the culvert. There's a culvert here. Wow. I'm starting to get hungry. It's pretty. Good sight. For brunch, we are going to have some oatmeal. Some peanut butter. It's my favorite breakfast. I've noticed that pretty much majority of this trail after I passed a certain point it's just non-stop tracks looks like a mixture of mule deer maybe just deer in general and elk I saw a hoof print about that big it's pretty big but just one print in one spot so I mean this is some rugged country I mean look at that it's my little spot better get up there and check out check out the burning I'd say at least a mile, the last mile, has been, I would say, somewhat fresh tracks. They're either from last night this or this morning, because they're over the top of four-wheel tracks. Like I said, it's pretty much the only way to go. Everything else is straight up and down and just super ultra-thick. This is Middle Colony Creek, and that's about a, a two-mile jaunt from South Colony. It looks to be about a little bit over two miles to North Creek, so I'm going to fill up all my water when I get there and I look for spike camp. The level of insects, ants and spiders, oh, daddy long legs of all things. At this altitude, I never would have thought there'd be so many tons of insects. I haven't seen anything other than, a, anything bigger than a daddy long leg. There's just, looks like carpenter ants. 
and just other other regular regular sized ants. My beard is all twisted and tangled up. Anyway, I'm gonna hit this oatmeal. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Mountainous beavers. These guys got the setup. I wonder if they're here or out hunting or what, but I'm just refilling. I've got my one liter done and another liter done. Now I'm gonna fill up my uh, bladder. I wanted you guys to see. I'm gonna try and sneak up on these, these trout. They're little guys. There is one big one in here, bigger one. Can't tell what they are, if they're brooks or browns or cuts. There's one that's, the bigger one is really pretty. There they go. There's the bigger one. The little guy right there, he likes this little shady spot. I've got my squeeze bag attached to my filter. It's a squeeze filter. You can see the flow. There's this little adapter that I put together. It's actually a kit that you buy, but there's this quick disconnect. So you pop this off, pop the mouthpiece off, so then so then this goes right in there. So now why this is so great is I could squeeze the water into my water bladder without having to take the water bladder out of the bag, which is huge. Pretty cool. Look at this. Beaver Dam. It's this whole thing here. All the way over there. And they got a little bit started right here. Man, it's pretty warm. I don't want to go back up the trail where I came from. And I don't want to really bother these guys and encroach them there solitude. It's like another two miles to the next trailhead. It's already almost one o'clock. Take a look at that up there. That's, that's a long way. That's a really long way. You know what they say, you go steep and deep for these deer and these elk. You go steep and deep for these deer and these elk. definitely steep and it'd be deep on both sides. All right well I guess I'll uh, put the pack on and hike a little bit longer. I don't want to get too far away from this. And I hope that that next trail has some water. We'll see. A majestic view. Check this out. That is beautiful. So to the left of that mountain where that ridge top is right there. That's the North Colony trailhead that goes basically to the base of that mountain. I think it actually goes to the top of it, but I was thinking that I could go to the right of it and then catch this other slope over here. Man, I'm glad I didn't make that decision because that's just not going to happen. Wow. Super 
view. Like on Music Pass or back there by those guys. It should be mostly shady. I know it's right directly in the sun right now. And it's pretty close to the trail, plus I'm close to that water. I'm gonna throw it on camp. It's um, quarter to one right now. And hopefully be set up here in the next 10, 15 minutes and uh, come up with a game plan. Still have not seen any animals and what I ended up doing was I just walked the trail. I kind of still hunted when you're in that mode. You're pretty much walking very slow, just head on a swivel, stopping every 10-15 steps. So that's what I've been doing I guess since 3 o'clock. It's now quarter to 7 and I'm just beat. The three guys on four wheelers drove by. Those are the only people that I've seen, which is good. Um, a lot of this country is just super thick. I mean, it's, I don't know how you can hunt this without, you know, bulls bugle, bugling. There's so many pockets. There's so many, There's so much ground here for them to hide and just go up a little off trail, a couple hundred yards. I'd walk right by them. I would never even know it. Seeing all those tracks on the trail kind of made me think, well... It's the path of least resistance, so maybe I'll get lucky. But it didn't happen. With all that being said, I'm having a blast. I'm. This is so much fun. I mean, I highly recommend if you have the, if you physically can do it, if you financially can do it, I highly recommend doing it. It's a lot of fun getting out by yourself, decompressing, getting back to nature, not letting any thoughts pop in your head just just being out here is amazing i'm miles away from a town and in fact i'm over five miles away from my truck not sure how many total miles i've walked today i would say at least five if not further oh and another sweet thing i didn't want to bore you with the preparation but you will get to see what it looks like so Stand by. Oh man, it's one of my favorite dishes. Kind of looks like dog food. Kind of looks like dog food. <laughs> wow, let's mix that up a little bit. That's much better. Yummy. Beef stroganoff in the backwoods. Doesn't get much better than that. Oh, I got some treats for myself. I got a Snickers. And a payday. I'm starving. I'm gonna eat this and I will uh, check back with you. It's 6.30. I was making some coffee. We'll get some breakfast in me. Part of me wants to go up here. Behind me is a big ridge. It goes to this deep, deep, deep big ravine. It goes up to that, those mountains up there. Oh yeah. I haven't even had coffee in a couple days. I'm trying to think of ways that I can get my Mountain Ops Ignite into my system, but I don't want to put it in the water bladder, and I don't really want to put it in one of those bottles. So, coffee.
even better. That's good. Physically, it's starting to take a toll. I had to put a bunch of Luco tape on my heels because I was getting some hot spots, but I didn't want that to get worse. I'd say five days of some intense hiking. It's not bad. I haven't got any blisters and I finally had to put Luco tape on, so that's not bad. But yeah, my hips. My calves are doing good, my shins are doing good, my quads are pretty pretty stout, hamstrings are doing alright. I need to actually set time aside and stretch. I haven't done that. I'm gonna spend a little extra time this morning and do some good stretching. Other than that, I'm gonna enjoy the sunrise and this coffee. Some breakfast here in a little bit. It's so dry. I'm having some serious sinus problems. Sleeping at night is tough because it's I have to get up every once in a while and take a sip of water. Really, the borderline bloody nose. I know it's kind of gross, but really hit me hard yesterday and last night. I'm constantly blowing my nose. It's the only way that I can breathe without having to breathe through my mouth. It makes you get oxygen in through my nose, which is what you want to do. <laughs> It'll be good for another hour, maybe. For those of you who might be wondering, this is a fresh shirt. I've got fresh socks on and fresh boxers on. I'm not rocking disgusting dirty clothes on day three. Yeah, so there you go. In case you were wondering. There you go. In case you were wondering. Which I'm sure you were. I'm going to show you guys this. I don't know if you can see it, but... That is my food bag. Hanging up there. Because you know, bears. Pretty gorgeous. Even in the middle of the woods. Very peaceful. Today is opening day of muzzleloader here. Not heard a bugle, not heard a shot. Spoke to a couple guys, they don't bugle. They, they think it's too early. If this was back in Missouri, there'd be blasting already. So either there's no elk in this area, which is very possible, or nobody wants to come back here. But anyway, I'll let you know if I do, and I'll check back with you guys in a little bit. Alright guys, you like my hat? Pretty sweet. I'm at the top of the ridge here, and I think I'm going to drop down a couple hundred feet. I can imagine this is going to be rough. This is going to be very rough. Yeah, I'm going to drop down into that stuff. That's going to be fun. Stay in the cool. Try and make as little noise as possible, which is going to be impossible. I just hope for the best. If I get one down, it's going to be... Wish me 
trying to pick apart this basin here. I'm kind of glad that I didn't bail down into there, even though part of me is want to. There's a big ravine that widens as it goes down. This mountaintop right here, there's a saddle right here that I thought was actually low. In actuality, it's very high. <sighs> yeah. That's why it's important to figure out your contour lines and your elevations and stuff like that before you just go making a play. I'm down to a liter of water. If I leave now, then I can get all my water situated, get myself plenty of water and plenty of food, kind of regrouping and thinking of a game plan instead of just bailing down in there. Somebody blasted off a bugle this morning about 10 o'clock. They either shut it down this ravine or they shut it down the ravine that I just came from and there was no response. So I didn't hear anything else after that. I've been hearing faint bugles here and there uh, throughout the morning, but they've pretty much stopped since about noon. It'd be really cool if they would start bugling or if I can hear some freaking gunshots. Then I'll know that there's actually elk in the area. Well guys, I made an executive decision. I'm gonna head back, get water, and then if I have enough time, I'm gonna hunt the uh, ravine behind me. Uh, there's a couple benches back there, and uh, maybe I'll get lucky. If not, I marked a whole bunch of benches that are above me that I didn't even look at yet. I'm not gonna bail off into this hell hole, not yet at least. I think that's a wise decision. So, I'll check back with you guys in a little while. pretty cool in it. Kind of wish I would have brought a fishing pole. I'm back at this sweet camping spot where it looks like those guys that were here earlier or yesterday pulled up snakes. So I'm getting some water with the trout and with the beavers. Yep, Crocs and Box. Don't judge. All right, guys. Tonight's dinner is some dehydrated rice and veggies that I made. Some bumblebee salmon. Two packages and some soy sauce. Sounds gross, I know, but the soy sauce is going to fix it all. I hope. Mmm, mmm. A little watery. It's all right. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, it's dinner time. All right. I'm going to turn the camera off. Eat this fantastic meal. <laughs> and I will uh, catch you guys right before bedtime. So guys, I am back in the tent. I'm exhausted. Belly's full. That was a big dinner. It's good though. Got everything kind of organized and packed up as much as I possibly could. I'm just kind of waiting for the sun to go down. It's almost down. You can see it. Yeah, I'm just enjoying the heck out of this. I wish I had uh, my dad or brother or Samantha here with me. It'd be pretty cool. Hopefully, they, hopefully you guys can come next year. Definitely going to try and do this next year and maybe even the following year. I know I want to get back to Arizona too. Do some of this in Arizona, hopefully. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, so tomorrow, go back to Aaron's, regroup. I'm going to do some caution. I'm going to do some recharging. I'm going to do some e-scouting, come up with another plan. Yeah, I, had, I can't really think of anything else, so... I'm going to blow my nose one more time, probably not the last time, and um, catch you guys in the morning. Good night. Man, just beautiful. There he is. He walked away. He's bugling at another one over there. Guys, I just heard a pew. As far as I can say, 
I'm gonna chalk today up as a win. Good morning, guys. Atrocious beard. I'm hair bugles. And I think they're like really elk. Like there's one up here behind me, quite a distance. There's one way over there on the top of that ridge, and way down there at the bottom. Kind of got my blood boiling a little bit. So I think I'm gonna get dressed. I was gonna pack up, but I'm gonna get ready. I'm gonna throw some cow calls out.
step was upon one milestone checked off to the pole really close. Either it didn't sound right or he just didn't want to come up here. I feel like the wind was pretty much in my favor for the most part. Right now it's hit me in the back though, so my cover's blown. But <laughs> I've been in these situations before where it's just you just gotta you just gotta go. And uh, that was this this morning. I was sitting in bed and I heard bugling pretty much all around me. I counted three different like three different spots, like three different ridges where I heard bugling. And then the one down here at the bottom near the near the creek. That was the closest and it sounded like it was getting closer. In fact I know it was getting closer. The one that was way up behind me. He only bugled twice and then stopped. But pretty cool. I don't want to leave. <laughs> oh man. I don't think it's really sunk in yet. Wow. Man, back to camp and back up. I'm out of food. All I got is snacks left. That's all that's left. Like camp number three. Not bad. Didn't shove off. This guy out. Check this guy out. Where'd you go? There he is. What do you want in the backpack? Guys, I just heard a bugle. Right down here in this ravine. It's a bull for sure.
think some of them are hunters. Maybe at least one, but there is definitely definitely multiples down there. Look at this. Man, just beautiful. I didn't get it on camera, but right as I was coming up to South County Creek here, there was two monster asses. <laughs> there was two monster asses. But that's all I saw. Two things turning around and hightailing it into the woods and just crash. I saw brown, it looked to me like elk, but there was no like white on the outside like elk booties. It looked like to me like horses without tails. I don't know if Colorado has wild horses or not, but they were definitely very large animals. They were very big. They weren't very far from me. I'd say 15 yards. Maybe, yeah, 15 yards right off the trail. And so I marked it and uh, I looked at the map and it's clearly a crossing. Well, they were on this side, between the creek and that, that hillside, so classic pinch point. As far as I can say, I'm going to chalk today up as a win. I didn't hear that bugle this morning. I definitely would have left, but I was thinking as I was walking back, had I been on a four-wheeler, I would not have heard those bugling down in that ravine. So, I don't know, kind of a kind of a catch-22. I guess if you had an all-electric vehicle, then you probably could. Like I said, I'm going to chalk today up as a win. we we'll go back to Aaron's. Tell some stories, probably have a couple beers, and uh, rest. Anyway, I'll check back with you guys in a little bit. What are you guys doing? I see any elk by chance? No? Alright. Have a good one. house. It feels good to be out of the mountains, but it feels bad to be out of the mountains. I'm starving. I'm thirsty. I've been just chewing on snack foods and drinking what's left of the water that I have, and I'm still thirsty and hungry. So I will uh, probably check back with you guys next time I'm heading to the mountains. 
There was two monster asses. 